When I was a little girl, in first grade, I was told I drew circles the wrong way. And the teacher put me in the corner where I had to draw circles until I was able to draw them the way it was supposed to be done. The other way around. And I just didn't get it. Why? At the end, all circles look the same, so what's the point? Today, I want to tell you a story about acting different and about all the amazing things that would happen if we could act different and how I screwed up. Um, when I got older, a similar thing like the circles happened to me at work. There was often one way to go, this is how you should do it, don't ask, just get your job done. And when I put this one way to go into a circle, it would look something like this. This is how many traditional organizations still act nowadays. For example, it's about control and rules and management by numbers, and often with a focus on a short-term profit maximization, and everything aimed at certainty and reliability and predictability. And a lot of this stuff just freaked me out. Why? Why are we acting this way? So, you have to know that I'm like a rebel by nature. <laughs> I was raised not to be confection. So, it's kind of in my nature not to go with the ordinary flow. So, that explains something. But besides, it wasn't only about my own frustration. And many people around me seemed to feel the same way. And I had a bigger drive because this kind of thinking is aimed at maintaining the status quo, not breaking through. And for sure, this doesn't make people happy. So I wanted to fight the system, and I screamed out loud that it all sucked and that we need to unscrew it all. And I felt like a lonely ranger. <laughs> nobody, well, nobody was hearing me, and I felt like nobody's noticing and nobody's with me. So time passed by. And then one day, I met uh, Rick Maas. He was a professor at the University of Amsterdam. And wow, finally somebody who seemed to be on the same page. And he knows stuff, you know. He's a professor, so <laughs> he's the one I need. So I hooked up with him and I started studying the fundamentals of our conventional way of thinking, the traditional way of working. And I started to play with science to find solutions. And my thought was, what would happen if we draw the circle the other way around? So I reversed it all, and the outcome looks something like this. And this is more about creating value for people, value that goes beyond money. It's about creative thinking, about innovation, about a more holistic view, and about dealing with unpredictability and uncertainty. And at that time, uh, signs of a, of a movement were already heading exactly this way. And the transformation, or the need for transformation in this direction seemed to be there. So I was all into that, and I started screaming louder. We are doing it all wrong. This is how we should do it. And with that, I fell into my own trap. So <laughs> let me share uh, three things, three things with you where I screwed up. Uh, the first one, I had created my own tiny little world of truth, and I had ended up like the teacher in the first grade. You know, there's one way to go, this is how you should do it. And this happens to all of us. We all look from our own single perspective and we see what we want to see, what we expect to see, and what we are used to seeing. And the danger of this kind of thinking is that it's about being right, and about truth, and about win or lose, and that it can lead to uh, arrogance and ignoring different opinions. Bad thing. <laughs> so, second screw up, even worse, it wasn't true. Because we need both. And as human beings, we are both already. And we may be treated like these are two separate worlds, and maybe it feels that way because we got stuck into our own circle. You know, like I'm stuck in my red circle here right now. We got stuck into our own circle with our own comfort zone and our own routines and habits, and we don't see the water in which you are swimming. 
But we need both. And we are, we are both already. We just aren't using the full potential of who we are. Third, screw up. <clears throat> Another big one. I thought I knew it all. And I did not. I maybe knew something about the water in which we are swimming, but for sure I had not learned to swim myself. You know, acting different is like swimming. You cannot learn it by reading about it or hear stuff or screaming it out loud. You cannot learn to act different if you don't act different. So it's not enough to know. You can read things and see things, and, but you have to do it to become it. And I only knew stuff. So I started all over again. And I knew I had to act different myself before I could design something valuable that could help others to act different. So to make a long story short, I did, uh, big time. Um, Rick Maas introduced me to design thinking and fully committed to practice what you preach, I went over another uh, three or four year or more years of research, uh, applying all these aspects myself and learn to act different. And finally, after all these years, we could design something amazing, what now is called Plan B, that guides people to act different. And uh, the thing is, when you, when you draw a, a, a circle on a piece of paper, one way or another, the result will be more or less the same. But um, it doesn't work this way with problem solving or, in, or innovation. When you act the other way around, the result will not be the same. In fact, it will be totally different. So the magic is in the process. The magic is in the way you act. So for now, <coughs> I think the need for transformation is greater now than ever before. And no matter where we look, we see problems that we only, of only can be solved by acting different. So it is my drive to make change happen. And I will continue to put all my effort into the growth of this movement. And not only in education, uh, of, sorry, not only in business, but also in education, because that's where it all starts. <coughs> so, um, I strongly believe we can unscrew the system, because together we are the system. It's not like we are trapped into a system, a system, which does all kinds of stuff to it. It's not happening outside of us. Together we are the system. So you are always part of the situation yourself. As, as a great commercial once said, you're not stuck in traffic, you are traffic. So together we are the system. So we can change it by acting different. So, I really, really, really hope you open up your own circle. Just step aside, even if it's not allowed. And open up your own circle and free yourself from your own conventional thinking. And if it's not to change the world, just do it for yourself, to be awesome in life. Because imagine what would happen if you could act different. You will be able to solve the wicked problems of this time. And you, will, you will be able to innovate to make change happen. And the, with the connection to yourself and your own purpose, will for sure give you a meaningful and blissful ride. <coughs> and all you have to do is start acting different. And you can learn to act different by acting different. And we need that. That is what we need. So please, don't let it pass you by. Thank you.